Alright there everyone, time for another booze video. Here it is, old moat cider. I think I've drank one of these before, I think it was the strawberry and strawberry and lime or something. I don't know. Uh, something like that. I can't remember. I'm just trying to rack my memory banks. I'm sure it's on a previous booze and talk video. This one's pomegranate and strawberry. Ripe you are then. From New Zealand. Old Moat Cider. Pronounced incorrectly since 1947. Yeah, I remember drinking one of these. So look what it says. Cider blend blended with pomegranate and strawberry juice. The clever concoction mixes ripe strawberry and tart pomegranate for a taste to keep you on your toes. Yeah, and you've also got passion fruit and apple, which is very nice. Oh, kiwi and lime, that was it. I've tried, that's the one I tried. Um, I don't think I tried the pomegranate one. I love pomegranates. One of my favourite fruits. They're right pain in the ass to eat, but I do like them. I've also got an unusual fruit to eat in this video because I haven't got anything to talk about. I thought I would uh, just bring props basically for this video. Anyway, that's the cap. I'm going to just pound it out of the bottle. Best way to drink these things, I think. Nah, it doesn't mean. Mm. Mm. I was gonna say at first, it just tastes like a cheap strawberry aid or something, like any strawberry cider, but it's got a bit of the pomegranate on the aftertaste. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, the strawberry taste is a bit cheap tasting, but um, I don't know, the pomegranate's there, and that's kind of, it's quite nice actually. A bit more punchy taste in the pomegranate. Mm. It's a nice enough cider, it tastes like pop, like all of these fruity ciders. I'll pour a little bit out just to see what the colour of it's like into this. There you go, look. It's pink. Ah. So yeah, went to the garden centre. This is what I bought today. A cactus, a hairy cactus. I don't know why, I always see these when I go in them, in these places and I don't think it, I usually only go for psychoactive cacti but Mm, maybe I'm starting to branch out now a bit into just weird looking cacti as well because recently I bought two big like like big ball shaped ones as well um, yeah I don't know it was cheap add to the collection it's like hairy but then it's got spikes I don't know it is with garden centers I used to love going to them and now it, they seem to be becoming less and less garden centers I mean, I know I'm going in the winter, so it's not going to have as many plants and things, but it, it's just the whole year through, it's it's more like just a giant gift shop now. All the garden centres around here, I used to love going to them all and looking for like weird coniferous plants and cacti, but now it's just like the whole front like end of the garden centre is just like tats, like gifts and cards and books and things, anything but plants, and then... Oh, you have to go through all that crap to get right to the back and then they'll just have a few plants and they always look a bit straggly and like they don't really care about selling the plants anymore it's weird garden centres aren't garden centres anymore strange but um yeah outside the garden centre they had a fruit shop and I got this I can't even remember what it's called but it, apparently this is a melon look at this fucking sh shape of it spiky it looks a bit like one of them dur durian or whatever they're called, but obviously not the same. So, yeah, I thought I'd give this a try, see what it's like. I'm f absolutely full of curry as well, I had a massive curry earlier. So, oh fuck. I haven't got any like plate or anything to put on it. Mm. Get some kitchen roll. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. <coughs> Jesus, what the hell is that supposed to be? Look at it. That's no melon. If anyone knows what this fruit's called, let me know, because uh, I've, I've forgotten by now. I'm gonna, um, I don't even know how to eat this thing. I'll try just cutting a slice. Okay, so there you go, look. There's a, there's a strange looking melon, apparently. Let's see what it tastes like. It's got the consistency of a mouthful of bogeys, but with seeds in it. Um, and it's not really sweet. It tastes like an unripe, like an unripe kiwi or something. Mm, I don't know. It's not particularly tasty. It's not terrible, but it's. It's the same as um, dragon fruit, which is um, so exotic looking. The taste always seems a bit bland compared to the look of it, and this is the same. Definitely got a unique texture. I like the little bogey, the little snot sacks kind of explode in your mouth. Kind of interesting. I won't eat the whole thing, I'm just eating a little bit just to see what it tastes like. Far too full of curry to eat the whole thing right now. Yeah, mm. okay. Um. Let's have a look. It's one of them weeks where nothing's happened because like it's it's like that sort of in between time between New Year and Christmas where basically there's not there's like no mail or nothing good on the T V, nothing exciting happening. Um so yeah, I've got no no to talk about really. We'll have a shot of uh, salty caramel popcorn vodka. Which I've had before, but I can't remember if it was nice. I remember it was, I think it tasted pretty good, but maybe a little bit weirdly fake. I'm gonna try mixing it with some things rather than just doing shots of it. Stop that up. It's the old skull glass. It does taste like popcorn. A weird buttery taste. Mm. Might be interesting mixed with something. Lemonade or something. You could give that like to someone in a cocktail and they wouldn't be able to tell what the secret ingredient was. They'd be really confused by the flavour of it. I watched the movie Guardians of the Galaxy earlier, that was pretty good. For some reason I just, I find Marvel thing, Marvel and DC and superheroes and all that stuff really boring. Same with Star Wars, I find it all completely just, I've got no interest in it. But um, that was actually a good movie, I actually sat down and watched a Marvel movie and it was actually very entertaining and proper funny as well. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe my avoidance of these Marvel movies has been wrong all these years. Ah. Mm. Let's have another bit of this fucking fruit thing. I can't really decide what it tastes like. It's kind of like... I 
Yeah, it tastes like an unripe fruit. I like a bit flavourless and not very sweet, a bit tart tasting. But I don't know if it actually is unripe or whether that's just how it's supposed to taste. Mm. Unripe bananas, that's what it tastes like. If you've ever eaten a a banana before it's before it's turned yellow properly and it tastes a bit sort of chlor chlorophylly or something, you know, a bit green tasting. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. Glad I got that mystery solved. Alright, anyway, I'm going to finish this because I've got nothing to say on this video. Just wanted to drink some cider and eat that fruit, basically. That's all I wanted to do. I think I've achieved my goals today. Hope everyone has a good new year as well.